Hello and welcome to today's April 30th stimulus package update, specifically regarding Congress and a potential timeline. Uh, if you're a subscribed member of my channel, welcome back. Thank you for being a member. If you're not, please consider subscribing so I can bring you smart money tips and updates and also words of encouragement. So uh, today, what I want to go over is just some common questions that I'm getting from my community. Um, I have over 140,000 subscribers that uh, look to me for research and, and help through these uh, crazy times. So I, I wanna go through that. I apologize, I, I'm getting, uh, you know, almost 3,000 comments a day. It's just impossible for me to get through, but I, I'm trying to read through them, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to respond, but um, I apologize to my community uh, for that. I'm just one person, but um, let, me, let me go through this. So um, the most common question that I'm getting uh, is about whether uh, a second stimulus package might be passed. And so I want to address that. Um, now, uh, I know from the comments that many of you uh, see me as a calm voice during this stressful time and that you see that I have tried to have a positive attitude. Uh, as of right now, I still have not received my stimulus check for uh, you know, my family of five, um, but I wanna go through this with you and uh, share some, some things that are, are quite frankly uh, bothering me. Um, okay, so, um, but I wanna set people's expectations uh, because I believe uh, you need to know what is really happening. You guys are checking YouTube, you know, some of you multiple times a day uh, trying to get answers. And I know that there are other channels that are just doing stimulus updates every single day, but a lot of them, they're, it's the same stuff over and over again. And, and maybe you think that about me. I've, I've tried to give something new every time. I've tried to be very detailed. Um, but uh, so don't shoot the messenger on this one um, because this is not how I would treat the American people. But um, okay, so um, the Congress, Congress is not even meeting right now which is very frustrating to me because uh, you've got millions and millions of people that are out of work. You've got millions and millions of people that are wondering, how am I gonna pay my rent? You've got millions and millions of people that are wondering how they're gonna pay their mortgage. Uh, 25 million people that did not ask to be put on unemployment, did not ask to lose their jobs, did not ask to be furloughed. Um, and yet uh, Congress is not even meeting uh, they were supposed to be back in session, but they're worried about health concerns. Uh, well, what about the health of the nation? That, that seems like that should be uh, a big concern um, <laughs> with, with what's going on right now. So uh, they won't even begin discussions till maybe May 5th at the earliest. So I'll continue to give you updates as new information comes in, as new proposals are proposed. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna redo videos on the three. Um, if if you don't know what the three main proposals are, uh, go back to my video yesterday and the day before that, and I talk about the three different plans that are gaining traction. But as of right now, there's no discussion. There's no debating. There's no um, clear timeline, and uh, that that's very uh, frustrating to me. And I, I usually don't express my frustration. Uh, on, on the camera, but um, you know, I care about the people on my channel and I want you guys to have this information. Um, I think it's important to know what's happening. I, I don't at all want to ever breed false hope, but just like you've got to have the data in order to make decisions. That's business, that's life, right? So, but it feels like Congress is on break while America is going broke. And I have an issue with that. I have a moral issue with that. Um, and that, that bothers me. At the same time, while individuals and families are struggling to do homeschool and how are they gonna pay the next bill and how are they gonna put food on the table, I read that uh, Jerome, uh, the Federal Reserve has announced that they will be buying up $500 billion worth of bonds from large companies. So 
more help to the big business and more pushing the little guy to the side. That's, that's very frustrating to me. In this new round of money to big business, they will not be required to retain employees and there will not be limitations on executive compensation. So uh, to me, that sounds like big bailouts again, which is very frustrating because that ends up coming out of our tax money. <sighs> Sorry, you guys, I don't, this is just frustrating to me. So uh, it really makes me question why big companies that make billions and billions in profits can't run a business if it's closed for a month or two. Um, it just, it, it doesn't make sense. Why, why don't these big businesses have emergency funds? Why don't they consider the fact that nothing goes up forever? It's just, it's very frustrating to me. Um, so are, are they uh, faking that they are injured in order to get free money? Or are they just poor money managers? I mean, I really do wonder that. Um, okay, so uh, the people are supposed to be great with money. You and I, we're supposed to be great with money, have a budget, have an emergency fund, uh, not lean on government uh, or you know, be able to sustain ourselves with no income. But we don't have the ability to print money. We don't have the ability to raise taxes. We're just supposed to struggle through it. And that, that's frustrating to me. Uh, I read heartwarming stories about uh, people like the CEO of Texas Roadhouse who gave up his annual salary so that they could avoid layoffs. I think, man, that's so great. And yet I don't see anybody in the government giving up their salary or dishing out any of their own money. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments. I just haven't seen it personally. Um, and that's, that's frustrating to me. So, uh, you know, so to answer your question, I don't know the time frame of a second stimulus package, um, but I know that Congress will be discussing it and I'm hoping that something will go through because uh, they've, they've left us out here for, for too long and the money is starting to dry up. Now, love him or not, uh, Mitt Romney of Utah was the first government leader to propose to Congress and the president that the American people were going to need help. On that first day, he was roasted in the media for that. And within three days, everyone in Congress was saying, we need to get money to the people. And the turnaround did happen fairly quickly. It, of course, it never goes as fast as any of us would like, but it did go fast as far as the government goes. So once they do start meeting uh, after May 5th, I'm hoping that we will have more answers and more updates to share with you uh, at that time. So it could, go, it could go quickly once it gets going. Okay, uh, so if a second one is going to happen, it could happen very quickly. Now, there is still a possibility for a, a second stimulus package. I know that some of you are going to say, well, President Trump was asked about this and said that he would prefer that there not be a second round of money and that he would like to get people back to work and to give uh, benefits to the business owners on payroll taxes. That, that's, that's all well and good, but that doesn't pay for most people's bills. That doesn't put most people uh, in a better position. That doesn't put food on the table. So that, that's very frustrating. But at the end of the day, it will be Congress that makes these decisions, and then they will present plans to him, and he will have to sign off on that uh, or uh, you know, deal, deal with the people. Uh, and the backlash. But uh, so even though he said that, don't lose hope. That does not mean that there won't be a second stimulus package. Um, but again, which package will it be? I, I think it will be one of them, uh, but they are going to water it down and they are probably going to shorten those time frames. But if they can just get us back to work and stabilize us, then we're fine. We, we just want to get back to work. So uh, that's frustrating, right? Uh, I'm going to most likely go for a walk or a hike with my children to clear my head. Maybe later tonight I'll do words of encouragement as uh, I think of words that would encourage me. So, um, okay, second most common question is, um, do I still think that this will happen? I can't say for sure, but based on what I've seen in the past and even just recently, um, I, do, I do believe that there will be something. So. 
Um, I'm just a guy on the internet, uh, you know, so don't, don't quote me on that. But here, here's why I think it needs to happen. Number one, they need to reopen the economy, but it does no good to reopen the economy if nobody has any money. It does no good to try to rehire millions and millions of people if the companies don't have any money and if everybody's stressed, right? Imagine trying to sneak out of orientation to call so that your mortgage doesn't get uh, shut off, right? Or that your house doesn't go to auction or something like that. Um, that you're not kicked out by your landlord during your first day at work or something like that. So I do think that people just need money to become stable and get back on their feet, right? I, I think the majority of Americans want to pursue the American dream and they want to build wealth for themselves, not just through handouts. So I think that people will need money to get back to work, um, but that, that's just my opinion. So um, I believe something will happen. Congress will be meeting uh, starting again after May 5th, and uh, that, that should give us some more answers at that time. Um, please feel free to, to share this video because I'm seeing over and over again on Twitter, Facebook, other people's channel, and especially in my own channel, when is Congress going to discuss this and when might it happen? People need to know these answers, so please feel free to share that. Uh, if you found this information helpful, please consider giving this video a like so that YouTube will share it with other people. <sighs> Remember to breathe. I have to remind myself of that throughout the day. Remember that you're not the only one feeling this stress. And uh, I just want you to know I appreciate you being a part of my community. I'll probably get on and do some words of encouragement later today. But I just I needed to share this because it's become the two most common questions in my comment feed. I'll see you guys on the next video.